Detective Recap here. Today, I'm going to explain a drama romance film called, Amuse. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. Lee Jukio sits by his table, and he opens up letters commending him for the books he's written. Later that night, he gets ready for bed before staring blankly at his wall, contemplating his life. The next day, Lee's student, Sojiwu, is reading some lines from his book in front of an audience. Lee picks him up afterwards, and the two head home. There, they are surprised to find Han Yun Gyo sleeping on a chair. They ask her who she is and how she got there, and she explains that there was a ladder by the fence and that she's always wanted to sit in a chair like that. After a brief conversation, she eventually leaves. Inside the house, So prepares food for him and Lee so they can have lunch together. He asks Lee if the soup is too salty, but Lee just ignores him and walks away. Later, So sits with Lee. He mentions Yoon Gyo, saying that she was looking for a part-time job even though she's still in high school. When So adds that she does housework all the time, Lee instructs him to tell Yoon Gyo to come this Saturday. That Saturday, Yoon Gyo is at Lee's home. She's cleaning the house as Lee watches her closely. While cleaning his study, she accidentally hits a pile of books. Lee hears this and helps fix the mess. Yoon Gyo apologizes for this, but he reassures her that it's fine before helping her out with the rest of the chores. Later, Yoon Gyo cleans some windows and starts telling Lee about herself. Lee just listens, staring in awe while she speaks. Afterwards, Yoon Gyo notices how stumpy Lee's pencils are and offers to sharpen them, but he tells her not to, saying that sharp pencils are woeful. Yoon Gyo then asks him about the poetry behind sharp pencils. Later that night, Lee explains why sharp pencils are sad, telling Yoon Gyo that the sounds of clattering pencils remind him of crying, making sharp pencils sound like tears. Yoon Gyo curiously listens as he then tells her that whenever she asks to sharpen the pencils, it's like she's asking him to wipe away her tears. Yoon Gyo gently nods as she begins to understand what he means before leaving for home. The next day, Yoon Gyo is in class while she ponders over what Lee told her. She then goes to Lee's house in the middle of a rainy night, calling him from outside, so he can let her in. Inside the kitchen, Yoon Gyo asks him if she could stay the night because she can't go home. He then asks her to show her face, but she hides it instead. Approaching her, Lee checks her cheek, only to find a bruise there. Concerned, he asks who did that to her, and Yoon Gyo curtly responds that her mother did it. She does that to Yoon Gyo sometimes, so she usually goes to a friend's house. After hearing this, Lee tells her to get changed. In his room, Lee lends Yoon Gyo some of his clothes then dries her clothes with a hairdryer. As Yoon Gyo watches from his bed, she tells Lee that she remembered one of his poems in her last exam. Lee curiously listens while continuing to dry her clothes. Lying down, Yoon Gyo starts talking about her mother, telling him that pencils remind her of her mom since she used to use her pencil knife to shave her heels. While she's speaking, Lee gives her some quick glances as she slowly spreads her legs. When she ends her story, Yoon Gyo asks Lee if he likes her feet. This surprises the old man, making him drop her blouse. Yoon Gyo playfully laughs at this, and with that, they go to bed. In the morning, Lee wakes up and is surprised to find Yoon Gyo lying down near his waist. Flustered, he checks on her again and notices a tattoo on her chest. He continues to stare at the tattoo until So arrives. Hearing the gate open, Lee quickly runs out to his study as So opens the front door. Walking inside, So notices Yoon Gyo's uniform on a hanger and is surprised to see her coming out of Lee's room. He then walks towards the study and looks through the window, where he sees that Lee's flustered. Later, Yoon Gyo makes breakfast for all of them and offers So a pickle. So then tells Yoon Gyo that Lee doesn't like bread, but she ignores him and insists on giving him some. In the study, Yoon Gyo happily gives Lee a sandwich, surprising him. He then takes it and praises Yoon Gyo before she leaves to get coffee, teasing So on her way out. Now alone with Lee, So approaches him to remind him that Yoon Gyo's a high school student. Lee says he's aware of this then asks what's wrong, but So just sits and says nothing. Afterwards, Lee asks Yoon Gyo about her tattoo, but she clarifies that it's just henna. Overhearing this, So throws the rest of his coffee away in disgust. Later, in the woods, the three are going for a hike when So suddenly tells Yoon Gyo that she can stop going to Lee's house. Yoon Gyo just shrugs him off, telling him that she's now going there twice a week. Surprised, So could only watch while Yoon Gyo catches up to Lee, holding his arm as they walk. Shortly after, they move to a cliff. Yoon Gyo checks herself out through her mirror before So roughly taps her shoulder, making her drop her mirror. Upset, the girl lashes out at him, asserting that the mirror was a gift from her mother. He tries calming her down, but Yoon Gyo refuses to listen. Noticing this, Lee starts climbing down the cliff to get Yoon Gyo's mirror. Despite Yoon Gyo and So's concern and attempts to stop him, he still goes on, eventually retrieving the mirror. Once he's back, Lee returns Yoon Gyo's mirror to her, making her embrace him tightly while So stares in disappointment. Later that afternoon, Yoon Gyo runs to Lee's home to tell him that she'll give him Hannah. Though Lee tries to refuse at first, he gives in to Yoon Gyo's persuasions and the two head inside his house. Lee nervously lies on Yoon Gyo's lap as she starts putting the henna on him. When she tells him to close his eyes, Lee soon starts zoning out, imagining himself with Yoon Gyo. In his imagination, he's moving closer to her, gently touching her thighs before she runs away. Standing up, Lee stares at himself from the window and is stunned to see a younger version of himself. He then runs after Yoon Gyo, smiling while chasing after her. The two then head back to the house, slowly undressing each other as they enjoy their moment.
They're smiling the whole time, and Lee even recites a poem dedicated to her. Unfortunately, his dream comes to an end when Yoon-gyo wakes him up to excitedly show him his new tattoo. Later, Lee is in his study, passionately writing a poem for Yoon-gyo as he imagines the two of them together. In his home, a frustrated So keeps trying to write a poem, but he ends up deleting it from his computer. He then calls Yoon-gyo, asking her to buy him some medicine, but when she arrives, So starts screaming at her, demanding to know what she's doing to Lee and asserting that he's a noble person. He keeps asking her if she knows what Lee means to him, but Yoon-gyo doesn't even understand what he's getting at. Confused and angry, Yoon Gyo asks him what she did wrong before cursing him, snapping at him to screw off. Insulted, So grabs Yoon Gyo, pulling at her blouse and blaming her mirror for the way Lee had risked himself just to get her to stop crying. When he demands to know what's so special about it, Yoon Gyo stresses that it was a gift from her mother, and So rudely asks if she thinks it's filled with her love. Though he's still furious, he notices blood on Yoon Gyo's blouse. This calms him down, and he goes to get some napkins for her. Yoon Gyo mentions that she'd forgotten So was an engineering major, surprising him. She explains that Lee told her about how he met So and how it took him 10 years to realize that not all stars are the same. As So listens in shock, he recalls the day he met Lee in his class during his discussion about stars. She adds that he told her about the time Lee went to prison, where he learned to fix cars. When So asks if Lee's ever talked about him, Yoon Gyo says she doesn't know before asking if she could borrow the heart, which is So's book. The next day, Yoon Gyo and So are in Lee's study. So asks Yoon Gyo if she's read the heart yet while closely watching her fix the room. Yoon Gyo says that she hasn't because she's busy, to which So states that she shouldn't read it. When Yoon Gyo starts moving a table, So quickly stops her, but she insists on moving it and mentions that Lee has been writing. While this surprises So, he still tries to stop Yoon Gyo from moving the table, asserting that it's been there for the longest time. Insistent, Yoon Gyo tries to stop So by sitting on the table. The two play around for a bit, pushing each other off before they knock the table over. Yoon Gyo then hears Lee arriving, making her rush upstairs to greet him. Left alone, So fixes the table and opens it finding Lee's poem for Yoon Gyo. When Yoon Gyo and Lee arrive in the study, Lee instructs Yoon Gyo to return the table, disappointing her. So then gives Lee his schedule, mentioning that he's going to a restaurant to meet with the literary museum officials on Monday. Yoon Gyo tells Lee that she wants to come, making So sneer in disapproval. However, Lee allows her to go, surprising So. With that, Yoon Gyo declares that she's read the heart. They talk about So's book for a while, with Lee explaining what he thinks of it. On Monday, Lee has his dinner with the officials. One of the officials named Mr. Park asks about the girl in Lee's poem, Camilla, and he tells them that she was 17. When they start bringing up the literature museum, Lee suddenly stands up, much to everyone's surprise. As the group asks why he's in a hurry, Lee answers by showing the henna Yoon Gyo drew on him. Then, he tells them that they have to wait until he's dead if they want to build the literary museum. With that, he leaves for Yoon Gyo while the museum officials wonder why So keeps following Lee around. At the bus stop, Lee picks up Yoon Gyo, who's ecstatic to see him. They then drive off to a restaurant to eat. There, the two joke around and enjoy their time together. Meanwhile, in Lee's study, So reads Lee's poem for Yoon Gyo again. After reading, he leans back and sighs heavily as he closes his eyes in bewilderment. He then returns the poem to Lee's table, gently closing it before he opens it again. So angrily stares at Yoon Gyo's name, and this time, he slams it shut. Later that night, Lee is working on his truck when Mr. Park suddenly arrives. He tells him that they'll name the museum the Camellia Memorial Hall and that they want to display Lee's manuscript there. Lee agrees to this before he and Mr. Park talk about So's success as a writer. Mr. Park then tells Lee about So's latest short story. When Lee asks what the title is, he is surprised to discover that it's called Yoon Gyo. After hearing this, Lee rushes to his study and looks for his poem about Yoon Gyo. When he finds it on his table, Lee drives to a bookstore where he finds So's short story. He holds the book as he stares at it in shock. The next day, So meets with Lee in his home. Inside, So makes a cup of tea for Lee, but he refuses it, saying that So might have poisoned it. Lee then confronts So about what he did, and So tries reasoning that he couldn't just let Lee's poem about Yoon Gyo waste away at his table. He had to let the world know about it. This only angers Lee, and he calls So a thief, but So retorts that Lee was the one who made him the way he is when Lee secretly wrote the heart for him. In retaliation, Lee claims that he considered it So's salary. So may not have had talent, but he kept him company, so Lee wrote it for him as a gift. Now, So is going on a tirade about how he doesn't know who he is anymore, if he's himself or Lee's mask. Lee tries to stop him, but So remains deep in his emotions, and he asks what makes his poem for Yoon Gyo different from the heart. Then, he tells Lee that he can't publish it because his relationship with Yoon Gyo would be scandalous. Finally, Lee bursts out in anger, grabbing So and berating him over how worthless he is and calling him a thief. Lee then hits him in the head, threatening him continuously and cursing at him. Suddenly, So stares to the side, seeing Yoon Gyo arrive and witness their argument. Afraid, Yoon Gyo runs away from the two, leaving the house as tears fall from So's eyes. Lee then sits down, sighing as he thinks about what just happened. Later that night, Yoon Gyo returns to Lee's house. She tries to enter through the front door, but it's locked, making her move to the window. From there, she starts calling out to Lee, telling him that she can't focus and that she's hurting inside. Lee just listens while Yoon Gyo pleads for him. Losing hope, 
Yoon Gyo picks up a copy of the story about her on Lee's porch and leaves with it. The next day, So walks home and suddenly sees Yoon Gyo waiting by his door, holding a copy of his short story. He then asks Yoon Gyo if she had read it, but she only scolds him for stealing the story. So apologizes for this, and Yoon Gyo asks how he found out about Lee's henna. He tells her that he told him about it, but Yoon Gyo isn't satisfied, scolding him again for not keeping secrets with Lee. So then tells her that Lee is a father figure to him and that he trusts him with everything. After this, the two go to So's car and continue to talk. Suddenly, So caresses her hair and starts kissing her, soon making his way to her neck. But when she asks him why he's doing this, he stops. So admits that he's lonely, and he pulls away, leaning back to his seat. Disgusted, Yoon Gyo looks at him before leaving the car to head home. After that, So meets with a museum official over dinner, and they wait for the announcement of the annual literary award winner. The museum official then answers his phone and informs So that he won the award for his story on Yoon Gyo. So doesn't believe at first, and he eventually smiles, still in disbelief. The museum official then asks him if Lee has read the story. Lying, So claims that Lee did read it and that it reminded him of So. The next day, So is waiting for the awarding ceremony to begin when the museum official informs him that Lee is there to watch. Surprised, So gasps as he sees Lee enter the awarding before taking his seat. After So receives the award, the host calls Lee to the stage for a speech about So's award. Lee then gives his speech, commending his pupil. One snowy day, Lee cleans some of his windows before he starts imagining Yoon Gyo. He stares at her as she giggles in the snow, but he stays inside, choosing to look longingly at her instead. Later, while Lee is cutting some seaweed strips, Yoon Gyo suddenly arrives and greets him happy birthday. She even has a cake and a present with her. Though Lee's just staring at her sadly through the window, Yoon Gyo ignores this and tells him that his windows are dirty. She then notices that Lee is unhappy to see her, but he tells her that he's glad she came. After he opens the door for her, she happily walks in. Lee's cooking at a barbecue outside, and Yoon Gyo's preparing his cake when So arrives. He greets Lee and gives him a gift. Before he leaves, So informs Yoon Gyo that Lee is diabetic then starts walking away. Lee stops him and invites him to stay for a drink, which So accepts. Inside, the two sit awkwardly together while Yoon Gyo prepares the food. When she arrives, she then asks Lee about the history of wine, and Lee answers her. So asks why she doesn't ask him any questions, but Yoon Gyo laughs it off, telling him that he doesn't have good answers and that he's too loose like all engineering majors are. As they keep talking, So starts musing about how different his life is now that he's become a national writer. Critics used to hate him back then, but now, they all love him just because he won an award. He then proclaims that he is no longer a mask and that he really just wants to succeed. Clearly drunk, So continues to ramble on before Lee calls it a night, leaving So downstairs, who's now thanking Lee for making him who he is. Now in his room, Yoon Gyo greets Lee one more time before walking out. However, Lee stops her and suddenly embraces her, and they hold each other tightly. After their embrace, Lee sits down on his bed before Yoon Gyo kisses him on his forehead and leaves. Lee bids her goodnight one last time then goes to sleep. However, Yoon Gyo walks back inside and sneaks into Lee's study. In the middle of the night, Lee wakes up and walks downstairs. Seeing Yoon Gyo's shoes, Lee makes his way to his study, where he finds Yoon Gyo and So laughing with each other. He then moves outside to spy on them from a window and catches a glimpse of them kissing. Lee moves deeper into his house, grabbing a ladder nearby to watch the two from another window. After climbing up, Lee is in disbelief when he sees Yoon Gyo and So hooking up. Lee climbs down from the ladder, leaving the two to finish with their business. Afterwards, Lee sits in his car, saddened by what he had just witnessed. He waits for Yoon Gyo to leave before working on his truck again. The next day, So rushes to his car and finds that one of his tires is flat. He then borrows Lee's truck, making Lee jump from the bed when he hears the engine start. On the road, So is driving when he suddenly loses control of the steering wheel, making the truck crash. Afterwards, he heads to the mechanic to have it fixed. In the repair shop, the mechanic tells him that the engine's been intentionally loosened, and So deduces that whoever did it had killing intent. With a look of realization, he heads back to Lee's house after the car was fixed. As he drives, So angrily thinks about what he'll tell Lee when he sees him, and he wonders why he would ever do such a thing. Meanwhile, back at Lee's house, he starts burning his poem about Yoon Gyo, looking lonely as he throws the papers into a fire. Still on the road, So remains deep in thought as he tries to overtake a car in front of him. Annoyed, So speeds up, but another car comes crashing into his. The impact makes the car fall off the road, leaving So bloodied inside. While this is happening, Yoon Gyo is at school, and she checks on her phone's message. To her horror, Lee is telling her that he had killed So. Yoon Gyo then runs out of class and rides a bus to Lee's house. On her way there, she sees a police car and a crane pulling out So's car, leaving her helpless inside the bus as she grieves. The next day, in a library, Yoon Gyo reads So's award-winning story again, making her suck in tears before heading back to Lee's home. When she arrives, she finds spoiled food and liquor on the table then moves to Lee's room. There, she finds him in bed, smelling like liquor. Yoon Gyo starts talking to Lee, stammering at first before lying down beside him. She tells him how she understands that Lee wrote So's story and how she's grateful that he made her so pretty there. Lee just lies down with his eyes closed as Yoon Gyo continues, telling him that she's an idiot for not knowing how much Lee loved her. After pouring her heart to him, Yoon Gyo gets up, leaves a bouquet for Lee, then bids him her last goodbye. 
After Yoon Gyo closes the door, Lee's eyes are filled with tears as he bids Yoon Gyo goodbye for the final time. Subscribe to watch more videos like this. Turn on notifications. And leave a like it really helps the channel out. Thank you for watching.